Okay, now next time you come to visit Austin, you might do a search and come up with this B&B &B and think, wow, this is a nice place. It's on a creek. You might do some canoeing. And you might wonder if you've got enough water to do the canoeing. But you might not think about, is it going to flood? And maybe you should. Because we are in a place called Flash Flood Alley. It's 300 miles long, runs from San Antonio to, to Waco. And, and this is from a FEMA flood hazard map, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. And if you wanted to find out if the bed and breakfast you want to stay at is on a FEMA map, you might be out of luck. That B&B that &B is in Blanco County, and it is not covered by a, F a FEMA map. And neither, is a million people down in, neither are a million people down in South Texas. So some help is along the way. And this is coming from the National Water Model from the new National Water Center, which is kind of like the National Storm Center or the National Hurricane Center. And, and what they're able to do is forecast the stream flow in every little creek in the National Hydrography data set. This is a, a four square mile area and a three mile long creek. And it's in the National Water Model. And, and so we're able to get four forecasts a day uh, the, the uh, analysis forecast is the best current conditions. The short range is 15 hours ahead and uh, at hourly basis. And then there's a medium and a long range. And, and the national water model is capable of generating these forecasts for every one of the 2.7 million of these creeks in the whole US in 10 minutes. And so it's able to keep this up and do the hourly and the longer term uh, forecasts. Now, um, this one is from a week ago for right here, and it says it's going to rain tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, so besides the stream flow, we need to know the height above the stream bed. And we can get that from elevation models, and that's pretty standard uh, practice. But we also want to know what is the risk at an address. And for that, we need to know the addresses. Well, this is the puzzle for getting the addresses in Texas. And so there's a lot of jurisdictions. And, uh, but we did it, and uh, in five months, we got the addresses in Texas, and this is what it looks like. There's 8.6 million of them, and there's a few gaps, but uh, we're working on those. But the gaps account for less than 0.1% of the total. So we're doing pretty good. And, and then we, we also now need to know what is the height above elevation, uh, above stream bed for those. And so a uh, highly parallel, process at the uh, University of Illinois has come up with this. This can be run in a day. This is a 10 meter horizontal resolution and when those address points are, are uh, color coded by their height above drainage, this is what it looks like at the state level. Now you can't make much use of that so we're going to zoom in to a place in central Texas and, uh, and this is, uh, I live over here just off the map, and, and uh, there's a river that runs through downtown Austin but uh, I, I'm really looking at this creek, it's Williamson Creek, that runs across the map, and, uh, because uh, that's, that's a source of flooding. So you can see the creek a little better now. The dark blue is where it's flattest, and the white is where it's steepest. That's what we get from the uh, height above nearest drainage map. The pink dots are the stream gauges, the blue dots are the dams, the, uh, you can see the roads, the dark brown dots are the uh, bridges and the lighter brown dots are um, low water crossings. Some of them are on the same ones. And so with that kind of base map, we can actually do a really interesting flood risk management, uh, flood risk planning map. And, um, and, and so the red is 10 feet or less above stream bed, and green is 60 feet or more above stream bed, and orange and yellow are in the middle. I'm going to zoom into that area because right here, there's been a very expensive uh, engineering study done, and our very low incremental cost study came up with the same results. And we've done this over the entire state now. So, uh, so the next step, that's just uh, stream flow. We need to get flood depth. Um, uh, we get stream flow from the national water model, and we have these rating curves. These are called rating curves that relate the discharge, the stream flow to the flood depth, and we have them on all 190,000 miles of Texas rivers. And, and so now, in real time, we can keep up with the forecast coming from the national water model. And we're, we're working on the, the near-term flood maps. We've already got the stream flow maps, but the flood maps are next, and the coastal areas need a little more work for the modeling. Uh, the main point is we're, we're working on this for the public safety and, and to enable the, uh, 
uh, fire departments to figure out where to evacuate people and, uh, and where they need to put their resources. Thank you.